Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, try on, and honest customer review for some Gucci frames that I received from Designer Optics. So if you want to go ahead and fast forward to the try on and customer review, go ahead and click the next chapters. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So this is what comes in the box. Go ahead and put the box aside. Gucci cases. Go ahead and open both of them up. Really nice Gucci cases. I'm not a big fan of this color, but hey, you're not buying these for the cases, are you? You're buying them for the for the frames and the lenses. Okay, so let's go ahead and go first to this one, which are the Gucci GG0287S, color code is 001. Here are the Frame measurements 52, 18, 150. And there's the barcode and the serial number proving its authenticity. Provided right, Gucci case. And then this little pamphlet. Well, not pamphlet, but envelope. Let's see what's inside here. Here you have the Gucci. Card of authenticity and this is just pretty much the name of the brand that actually owns Gucci and a bunch of stuff that we're not really gonna get into okay so we're gonna put that aside Let's open up the bag pretty good amount of protective plastic on there to protect the frames during shipping here are the first ones guys so, so these were originally sunglasses but I requested for them to put the transitions gray lenses on them well transition signature gen 8 gray lenses on them and they did provide the original sunglass sunglass lenses on them and as you can see there it has the Gucci logo there, so they are authentic. This website definitely does not sell fake counterfeit items, so that's the only good thing that I'll say about this this website. Really nice, cool looking frames. The GG there on the side in the classic gold, green, and red Gucci colors. Havana temple tips. And I love how these are a mix between aviators and club masters. Really cool. Inside the temple tip, Gucci, made in Japan. Gucci, made in Japan. Apologize for the lack of focus guys. It's really this camera's having a really hard time focusing. There's the model number and the color code and the frame measurements. Okay. So that is the first pair of frames. The second one. Is this one right here it is the Gucci GG 06050 color code 001 frame measurements are 52 16 145 here's the barcode with the serial number so let's see what's inside Gucci cloth and the Gucci cloth a little envelope here that provides the card of authenticity. And the paperwork from Caring Eyewear. Okay. Okay, so let's set all of this aside, show you guys the frames themselves. 
a good amount of protective plastic again. Both of these have a brow line style frame to them, which I really like. And these were originally eyeglasses, so the only lenses that were provided with these were the demo lenses. As you can see, really cool looking pair of frames, especially on the sides. I really like how on both of these frames, the sides look really unique. Definitely something that you don't see from your ordinary pair of eyeglasses. What's inside the temple tips? Model number and everything. So as you guys can see on the nose pad, it has the little GG logo. There we go. Okay everyone, before I end the unboxing, I just wanted to come outside and show you guys this scratch. This is on one of the left lens of the frames. Uh, these are supposed to be brand new lenses, but as you can see, there is a pretty big scratch where the sun is reflecting on the lens. And I have had issues with this website before, and uh, this additional problem spells out disaster for any type of customer that's, that decides to buy their product. So. Um, I will be talking about this on my customer review chapter, so if you want to go ahead and fast forward to that. But for now, let's go ahead and get to the try-on. Okay, everyone, so this is how the first pair of Gucci frames look on me. Both of these, like I was, telling, like I was showing you guys in the unboxing, they have that brown line look to them. So let's go ahead and go zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see how they look from the side. Really cool, unique pair of frames that is definitely a bigger frame that I'm used to wearing I'm definitely used to wearing small to medium size frames as you guys have seen on my previous videos but um, I actually like the look of these frames I don't think they look too big on me and it's also important to step out of your comfort zone guys try to experiment and try on different types of frames to see which ones you like and uh, which ones you prefer to wear okay so both of these have the transition signature gen 8 gray lenses so first we're gonna go ahead and take these out so you guys can see how fully dark they get this is the signature trans transition signature gen 8 line so they're gonna fully dark in about 30 40 seconds pretty quickly as you guys can see they're already getting medium dark just waiting for them to get fully dark give you a side profile so you guys can see how they look on me really nice really cool unique pair of frames that once that once I saw them on the website I automatically wanted to see how they looked in person and I definitely wasn't disappointed it's really cool really unique and I believe since these frames are a little bigger, they definitely do look better as sunglasses uh, compared to my other small to medium sized frames. They're definitely, you, you could definitely see that they were meant to be sunglasses, but the fact that you get two in one clear slash uh, sunglass lens just gives it that extra plus. Okay, and since this is a gray neutral color, um, the colors definitely don't pop. The, the greens, the reds, the blues, they don't pop at all. Um, it definitely does dull down the colors, but I don't mind. The fact that I have gray, brown, and the graphite green colors as transition lens 
um, definitely gives gives me a good variety to to wear and to definitely change up my style. Okay, so I think they are fully dark. Let's go ahead and step back in. Okay, everyone. So you guys can see you could see the sunglass lens a little bit better since we're here indoors. There's not that much light reflecting, so. Let me get a little side profile so you guys can see. I really like the side. Both of these frames, I really like the side because it's definitely very unique. Definitely something a lot different that you don't see from many frames out there. Okay. It's really cool, really nice. Okay, so now we're going we're going to go ahead and put on the second pair of frames. And these are again similar brow line style. What I really like about these frames is that it's a mix between aviators and clubmasters, which I really like. And so you can see that the classic gold, green and red Gucci colors definitely make it a very unique cool frame really nice really cool let's go ahead and step outside so again the gray transition color it's really cool angles so you guys can see I love how the gold green and red really pop out when the Sun is out it's really nice It's hard for me to pick guys honestly on which one which one of these two is my favorite one but if you guys have a favorite one make sure to comment down below and let me know okay so we're gonna give it a couple more seconds they're fully dark okay everyone back inside you guys can see they look awesome when they're indoors you can see them a little bit better like I told you it's hard for me to pick which one of these is my favorite I like them both I like how they look both in clear and as sunglass lenses but if you guys have a favorite make sure to comment down below and let me know okay so now I'm gonna tell you guys my honest customer review from designer optics I definitely do not recommend you guys shopping there for the main reason that they do not provide good customer service so let me tell you guys the story on what happened so I initially requested these glasses to or these lenses to be prescription transition lenses and on their website you have two options you can either upload your prescription picture and upload it and you can fill it out manually so you can pick out both options on which one you des you decide to do so I picked out both I uploaded it and I entered it manually unfortunately when I was filling it out manually I mistakenly put 180 on my right axis I do have astigmatism but I only have astigmatism on my left eye not on my right eye so I messed it up but nonetheless, I did upload the prescription. I waited for my order to arrive, and once it arrived, once when I put once I put them on, obviously they didn't they didn't look correct to me. So I emailed them, and they told me, okay, we'll just send them back, and we'll see what what's wrong with them. So they ended up testing them out, and the prescription was fine. How I entered it manually, but I told them that admit that I entered it incorrectly, but I also uploaded the prescription file, and they told me that that I didn't which I'm pretty sure I did but nonetheless they told me that um, they gave me the option on what to do so I told them okay well I still really like these frames so they told me that I could not return them that I was pretty much stuck with 
the frames and the lenses so I told them okay well I really like these frames um, so I'm gonna opt for you guys to put the non-prescription transition lenses on them so the lady emailed me back and she told me that it was going to be 159 for both frames um, so I thought that was pretty cool 159 for both frames that's a damn good price with all the features with po the polycarbonate lens standard anti-reflective and the transitions great so I told them yeah I'll, I'll go forward with that so I had to actually call a customer representative to submit my payment to them and Right off the bat, the lady that I spoke to, her name is Deborah. she treated me with really bad attitude, really bad customer service. It's almost as if she was trying to reprimand me for incorrectly putting the prescription on there. I wasn't giving her a hard time, but I did give her a hard time once she started treating me with an attitude. That's just the way I am, guys. If you mess with me, I'm going to mess with you tenfold. So, um, after all her bickering, she gave me the total and she told me that it was going to be like three something 300 and something dollars which was 159 times two and i told her no well the lady told me that it was going to be 159 for both frames and i even specifically replied to her asking her if it, if the final price was going to be 159 or 159 times two and she told me no that is the final price so i'm i assumed that it was 159 but now you're telling me that it, it's not that so I started I started giving her a hard time telling her well I mean if you guys are saying this and now someone else is telling me this then what's the point I mean you guys are treating me really badly here and it's not like I spent like 20 40 bucks this is a couple hundred dollars that I spent with you guys she presumably talked to the lady that was emailing me and she told me that oh, oh I apologize the lady wasn't specific with you enough but that is the final price, 300 and something. And I told her, well, no, there's no way I'm going to pay that. Um, you guys need to come close to 159 So she told me, okay, well, the best we can do is like 220 something like that. Which is still not bad for uh, non-prescription transition lenses. So I, decided, so I told her, okay, well, I'll, I'll go forward with it. I was pretty much fed up with them. I just, I just really wanted my frames, to be honest. So I received them, and as I showed you guys on the unboxing, these frames have a light scratch on the left lens. And, oh man, at this point I don't even know what to do because I am so fed up with this company that I don't even want to email them to tell them, hey, these lenses are messed up again. Are you guys, what are you guys going to do about it? I'm guessing what they're going to do is, is for me to send them back so they can fix them, but... Like I'm telling you guys, at this point I am so fed up with this company, I don't know what I'll end up doing. If I decide to email them, I will let you guys know in the item description as an update. But definitely guys, I do not recommend you guys shopping at Designer Optics. Um, you just don't know what you're going to get. They're not going to do anything to try to fix the issue. Honestly guys. Definitely one of the worst customer experiences that I've ever had. They don't come nowhere close to, to other websites that I've interacted with such as sport rx lensable lens crafters definitely not recommended guys nonetheless guys that is my honest customer review of designer optics do not recommend it at all so steer away from them okay so let me know what you guys think make sure to like the video guys and i'll see you guys next time